You know, if you've looked around, uh, there have been some protests. Uh, there was one on the Strip uh, not that long ago in protest of Steve Sisolak's order of, of no 10 or more people gathering, in, you know, in one group. Uh, we had this Michigan protest where hundreds of people gathered. I, I find it funny that they want everything to reopen, yet they were still wearing masks. Right. It, it, wasn't, it, was, it was thousands. It was tens of thousands. It was a I didn't lot, know it was that. Bad. It was a lot of people. Well, regardless, yeah, a lot of people did show up to this protest. And, uh, look, there's, there's some people that think that we should reopen the economy tomorrow. I think it's completely and utterly ridiculous. But here's what Senator John Kennedy had to say. He declared on the Tucker Carlson uh, Tonight Show that uh, the U.S. economy must reopen for business amidst this coronavirus pandemic, even as he acknowledged that the result would be that the COVID-19 virus will spread faster. Have a listen to this. When we end the shutdown, the virus is going to spread faster. That's just a fact. And the American people understand that. Uh, so when we open up, and we're going to have to, and somebody's got to make the call. Is John Kennedy the next guy that's going to say, I'm willing to die to open up yes. the economy? Yes, is he, he one is. of those guys that's I is wish, he the next guy that's going to say that? Because he, 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 I mean, he makes a decent point there. No, he but, doesn't. Yes, he actually does. No, Brian. he's a dope. Brian, we don't, we don't know if, if this is helping, if mitigation is helping. We don't know that if you go to the grocery store, if you're not getting the virus there, and if staying at home and being in lockdown and not going to events is helping. We have no idea because we, we don't have complete data. I just wish John Kennedy didn't sound like JD, that. He so, said, some, JD, he said, so, somewhat, And somewhat, somebody's got to make the call. <laughs> yeah, someone who sounds like that. It's it's very he hard. To, said, it's, it's very JD, hard to take them serious. JD, I wish JD. I wish he didn't sound. <laughs> I wish JD. I wish he didn't sound like that. JD, I wish he didn't say it's going to spread faster if we open up well, the. It, Do you understand it, what he it, said? It, we don't even know if that's the case. Well, he's a moron. We have no idea. John Kennedy is an idiot. That, that's the whole problem, Brian. Yeah. Right now, we've got 22 million people. 22 million are unemployed in the United States. Yeah, there you go again with the unemployment numbers do you know over, that, over the health and uh, of the nation. I'm do you know, sorry. Do you know what I'm that translates gonna, to? not going to go there. Let me I'm ask, not going to talk right. unemployment many, numbers to death, so I'm not going to do no, that. No, well, you need to. Well, no. Because, I, no, because, I don't. Because they translate. No, I don't. Yes, it's yes, insensitive. Yes, yes, I'm not it's not that. insensitive, Brian. Okay, no, I'm not no it is not. All right, well, we'll talk about this in a second. And that is why you are a severe, severe left winger okay do you know I, that i'm a that that, yeah, that is i'm why. a severe left winger yes because i care because more, you never me, factor, could, okay, you never factor talk in the now, economy okay i get it if i can talk now i'm a severe left winger because i want people to be safe and i don't want the economy to reopen until the doctors and the professionals hold on safe okay i don't care if the entire world is unemployed as long as it's dangerous to be out there i don't care the whole world could be unemployed so don't give me that unemployment crap and then compare it to people that are dead because it's insensitive it's wrong right. hold on and when you're six feet underneath the ground those people that are six feet underneath the ground they're not going to have jobs either okay they'll be unemployed that. as well if, if you're damn right i keep right, saying Brian, that because thirty thousand people if have the died entire, in this country if, if the entire world was unemployed we would not have a radio okay, show. Okay, you get what you I'm would saying. not have a place to you live. Get, that's, that's no, you no. Get what you're what, what you're saying is, I mean, Brian, considering the fact that unemployment's about to hit 17 percent. Okay, yep, yep. So let's care more about is, people working than people insane. dying. That makes complete sense. I'm saying people it's not absurd. people not working leads to people dying. That's absurd. And people are not that's working. Absurd. What over, study would show that? Because of incomplete show data. Show me a study that shows it, that. It's, Where did I mean, you see that? That is that if you're unemployed, you're going to die. That is basic common sense. No, 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 no. Show me a study. You talk about the numbers all the time. Absolutely, yes. You talk about the numbers. The actual numbers. Where are the numbers that show that? For every 1% increase in unemployment, 37,000 people die. So if we get up to 17% unemployment, what is that math? So let's that's, almost six, that's almost 600. So that, that's 20 times okay, the people fine. that, that so have died put, so far in the country, 3,000 of which in New York State were apparently because – all these, all these families were so doctors. Put, okay, all these families were doctors. Oh, my, my, my grandfather had a had a fever of 104. He must have COVID. So let's put the unemployment numbers ahead of people's safety. That makes no, a lot I'm of sense. You have to, no, fact, that you have to factor all of it in okay, together. Okay. Let's put unemployment numbers ahead do. of people's safety. That's exactly Brian, let me, what you're Let me doing. ask you a question. How many people right now at home do you think are drinking alcohol? I have no idea because unlike you, I don't speculate. No. no. Do you think that people? Do you think? Do you think that alcohol consumption right now is up or down in the country? Well, I would imagine it's up. That, it does, is, that doesn't mean it a, is, a ton it of is people up, are dying. It is up by 30%. So because people and are drinking as, at home, we as should of, open up the economy. As, of, as of yesterday, How many it people was, are drinking at it bars? Was announced, it was announced by the CDC 
That's absurd. That, how many people are drinking at bars? If you drink in alcohol at home, how many you people are, are drunk driving? Because you, you are, because you are now. Now you're. So you, you've been interrupting me for the last well, minute. Well, because you're not making any sense. I am making sense. Making right. No, no I'm saying it was, it was announced that if you are at home drinking right now, you are much more susceptible to get the virus than if you weren't. Did you know that? I have no idea. Were, were, what you're were you aware about. of that fact? So if I'm drinking a beer right now, I'm more susceptible. Do you realize how ridiculous that no, sounds? The, the CDC announced it yesterday, Brian. If you're going out and getting alcohol, yes. But if no, you're if, drinking no, in if, your house, if you're, if you're drinking alcohol, like if, if you're drinking alcohol, how could you? How could it, on a consistent how basis? How is that possible if you're in quarantine? You, it makes you more susceptible to get the virus whenever you go anywhere. How Brian. is that possible if you're in it, quarantine? It adds, it adds the chance you're going right. to get the virus well, because another, your immune system is okay. compromised at well, that point. Well, I have, an, I have some more audio I want to play for you. Uh, Indianapolis radio host Tony Katz asked. Indiana Republican Governor Trey Hollinsworth uh, to respond to critics who might say reopening the economy will get people killed. Have a listen to this audio. It is policymakers' decision to put on our big boy and big girl pants and say this is the lesser of these two evils, and it is not zero evil, but it is the lesser of these evils, and we intend to move forward that direction. That is our responsibility, and to abdicate that is to insult the Americans that voted us into office. I got to tell you, man, I, I'm just so frustrated. Listen, the first thing I'll say, and then we'll open up the phone lines, which is 702-257-5396. Again, if you want to be a part of the program, that number to call in is 257-5396. It's one thing to dif disagree with someone when it comes to policy, politics. It's one thing to say to yourself, boy, that person's really ignorant, but you know what? It doesn't really affect me. This is different. And again, I compare it to drunk driving. You get inside your car, you're drunk. It's a decision that you're making, and you're, putting rush, you're playing Russian roulette with society, and you're putting everybody at risk. If you think that we should reopen the country tomorrow, people are going to die. It is as simple as that. It is the virus that is going to dictate when we reopen things, not a politician, not people on the right that are saying, we're going to go crazy and we're going to protest. Keep protesting. It's not going to do any good. The bottom line is it is the healthcare professionals and the experts that are going to say and deem when it is healthy and when it is okay and safe to reopen the economy. And I am sick and tired of people that are ignoramuses, that are dumb, that think we should reopen the economy now, that also think that Steve Sislak should have never closed down the Strip. If you want to debate when the Strip should reopen and you want to debate when the economy should reopen, fine. That's a fair debate. But to say that we should reopen it now is completely and utterly ridiculous. It makes absolutely and positively no sense. And I don't want dumb, ignorant people to put my life in jeopardy. And that is what happens when somebody gets into a car and starts driving drunk. And that is exactly what will happen if these idiots think that we should reopen the economy today. If you want to debate May 1st, if you want to have that conversation, that's fine. But there are morons out there that are, that are holding these rallies and are you know, protesting in Michigan when it's the third highest state in the country for coronavirus cases and these idiots are wearing masks this is how dumb some of these people are they're showing up to this protest wearing masks saying they want everything to reopen do you realize how the irony of that and how dumb some of these people are it is completely ridiculous here's what we're going to do we got to take a break but when we come back you know i want to take some phone calls on this 702-257-5396 jd comes from a different opinion than where i'm coming from but we want to know what you think here so again that number to call if you want to be a part of the conversation 702-257-5396 again that number 257-5396 quick rundown coming up here in just a few minutes we'll be joined by oscar goodman the former mayor of las vegas will be joining us stand-up comic george wallace coming up in hour number three and showgirl Charlene Carabio, very, very talented singer and dancer, will be calling in in our number three as well. So we'll take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll get to more of your phone calls at 257-5396. Again, that number, 257-5396. Your calls on the other side of the break. You're listening to The Vegas Take right here on the all-new 101.5 FM, 720 AM.